Hello YouTube, this is We All Juggle Knives and Lights with a review of the Sunway Man F30R. Yes, look how compact. It's a soda can configuration. I think this is the fourth Sunway Man that I've reviewed. And I got this from banggood.com. I'll include a link. This is a tricolor light. And you see those LEDs around the center. Those are the uh, red and the blue LEDs. This is the box that it comes in, right? It comes with instructions and lots of goodies. Mainly it comes with that diffuser, right? So you can fit that in and you can make a lantern or you could direct traffic with it. It also comes with spare O-rings, right? And that lanyard. All right, here it is next to the Sunway Man F10R, which I've previously reviewed. I'll include a link to that review. So these are both tricolor lights, all right, capable of red, white, and blue. Right now, the F30R takes three CR123 size batteries, right, and the F10 takes one of that same size of battery. Here's another size comparison with some other lights. Now, all three of these are what they call a soda can configuration. And this Sun Wayman is the most compact soda can light that I've seen. Right next to that is the Thrunite TN4, which takes four AA batteries. And next to that is a Claris a G30, which takes three 18650 batteries. The light has two side switches. The first is a power switch, and the second is the mode select switch. All right, to turn it on, you just press the power switch. And to cycle through the four brightness levels, as I'm doing there, you just click uh, once on the mode select switch, right, to change the modes. Okay, now for strobe, you double tap, right, double tap that, and you get the white strobe. Now when the light is off, if you long press the mode, right, switch, you get shortcut to moonlight. When the light is on, you double tap the mode to get SOS. Okay, and that is flashing... Uh, SOS beacon mode. Now if you long press the power switch you get to the red and or blue modes. That's continuous red and to change through those modes you press the mode switch continuous blue and it also has a red white and blue strobe and then it has a red and blue blinking. Okay but don't worry I'm gonna demonstrate both of those modes outside you're gonna be able to see those better in the outside uh, demo. To install or replace the batteries, you just unscrew right, that tail cover there. And as I said, it takes three CR123 size of batteries, and that's how they're supposed to go in there. Right, two down, one up. Now I'm using Eagle Tac 16340 lithium ion rechargeable batteries. I recommend those. If you want to use just regular CR123s, you can also use Surefires like this. I've tested these. They work fine uh, in the light. I'll include links to both those sets of batteries if you want to pick some up. At this time, let's roll in some outside demonstration footage. Okay, middle of the night with this Sunway Man tricolor light. Here we are on the front steps. That's the highest mode now cycling through the four brightness levels. Now the max lumens on this, 880, right, in the turbo mode. All right, the uh, red and or the blue modes. Okay, this is the red, white, and blue strobe that I was telling you about. Almost like a police light. Yes, that is very cool. Red, white, and blue. Okay, cycling through. That's the continuous red. It'll preserve your night vision. That's the continuous blue. And the last one is going to be red and blue blinking. Now this has a memory function, so the special mode will be whatever you turned it off in. And going into some close range beam shots on the old testing board, right? Cycling through the four brightness levels. So the brightest mode is pretty darn bright. Okay, let's demonstrate the uh, red and blue modes uh, on the testing board. Red, white, and blue strobe. Yes, there we go. Do you know how fast you're going? License and registration, please. Now, you got to be careful with this because where I live, you're not allowed to use that mode from a vehicle. Not allowed. Okay, and there you saw the continuous red, the continuous blue, and here is the 
uh, strobe with the red and the blue. Here is the lantern, like with the diffuser attached, you can make a lantern. It's very bright. That's the brightest mode with the diffuser. And I'm going to turn it down. Okay, that's the low mode with the diffuser. Yeah, so you can make like a camping lantern with this. Very cool. Here is the red mode, continuous red with the diffuser. So if there was some kind of emergency, you know, you could set this down almost like a road flare. You know, or you could uh, just direct people in an emergency. Here's the continuous blue. Yeah, that's very trippy. Yeah, kind of like a lava lamp almost. Okay, red, white, and blue with the diffuser. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, do you know how fast you're going? Your tail light is out. License and registration, please. I'm not sure when I would really use that mode, but it's just something that's really cool to have. All right, some long range shots from the second story window. This has better range than I thought it would. And in fact, this appears brighter than I than a 880. You know, I think it might be because I'm using those lithium ion batteries. Right, but it uh, it has a wide working voltage, so you can safely use those batteries. Right, but it even reaches out to those chairs. Okay, and without the light, that's how dark it is. Right, dark. Great range. All right, and we are back. So let's talk final conclusions. But first, let's talk standardizing your battery stockpile. It's great that this can use three CR123 size of batteries because there's so many lights that use one and there's so many lights that use two almost everyone already has these batteries around so if you already have a stockpile of these batteries this will complement whatever you have perfectly and it's just so compact this light really has just a treasure trove of features i mean it has shortcut to moonlight shortcut to strobe shortcut to sos it also has memory function for the brightness level in the white light mode, and it has memory function for whatever mode you are in in the uh, red and or blue modes. It's got the different colors. You know, the red can preserve your night vision, and it comes with that nice diffuser, which lets you turn it into a lantern or an electronic, uh, like, road safety flare. Right, so this thing... You know, it has a lot of features that might not be necessities, but they are just great to have. It's a lot of fun. It's like a dream for a flashlight collector. It's very unique. The most compact soda can light you can get. So this is a really great light. Now, obviously, it's not a light just for beginners. It's not the first light you would buy. But because it takes CR123s, it fits in really nicely with a lot of lights people already have. Okay, so I definitely highly recommend this light. I will include the Banggood link where I got it. Hope you enjoyed seeing it. This has been We All Juggle Knives and Lights.